Oh, dear. All over the pavement. Another load of shit. A shovel, Granville. <laughs> staring at. Hello, Granville. Hello, Maureen. Hey. <laughs> Say, what can I get you? I want one of them instant puds for my sister. She's gone mad on them. Oh, we better put them on the dangerous drugs list then, haven't we? Eh? <laughs> Long time no see. This time last year. Yeah, I expect you've been busy. Not all that busy. Not well, fairly busy. <laughs> I've been away for a while. Oh, what surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I've often thought about you, Granville. What? Any special reason? Very special reason. Oh. Do you remember uh, Elsie's party? <laughs> Did I go to Elsie's party? <laughs> oh, come on, Granville. Don't tell me you don't even remember. Well, you know what it's like, Maureen. I mean, the drink was flowing, three glasses of wine and I'm anybody's. <laughs> you were mine at Elsie's party. <laughs> we got very close. Oh. We must uh, meet sometime and discuss the future. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, what do you think of our Eric then? <laughs> our Eric? The baby. Who do you think he's like? Kojak. <laughs> Look at me, look at me, standing around here. I'm, I've got all, I've got all my ironing to finish. I think that's what did it, Granville. The way you'll do anything for a laugh. Eh? It's a good job you've got a sense of humour. I used to say to people, that Granville, I wonder what he'll be up to next. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. You shouldn't go around mentioning names like that. Why ever not? I've told everybody I used to make me laugh. Everybody? Oh, okay. And what have you been doing with yourself lately? I don't know, I've just been trying to think. I could have sworn it were nothing serious. <laughs> oh, come on. But what about the instant pudding? This is no time for regrets, Maureen. <laughs> the ground bill for fetch your cloth. <laughs> Do you have to go galloping as if your sh shirt's on fire? Well, I didn't know you were working on the door. Oh, well, I am. I am. This door here, have you made a note of that? Right. This one here. Right. The, the one I've just closed with me nose. <laughs> well, what, what are you doing there, anyway? Well, apart from bleeding, you mean. <laughs> no, look, stop making such a fuss. Let's have a look. Look, it's all right. It's, it's a bit red, that's all. Red? Come here, let's have a look. Oh, dear. You've ruined my chances with Nurse Gladys Emanuel. She'll think I'm a dirt, I'm a dirt, dirt, I'm so a So you are. <laughs> the what? Dirty old man. <laughs> I'm trying to say the dipsomaniac. Let me finish. You've never had any chances with Nurse Gladys Emanuel. Rubbish. We're just waiting for her favourable circumstances. Happier times, like where when her mother dies. <laughs> Why does the nurse always act as though she can't stand you, then? Oh, eh? it's a woman's way, Granville. He just wouldn't understand, you see. Well, there you go again. You shouldn't discourage me from these discussions. I'd, I'd, I'd like to ask you all sorts of questions about life. Like, 
Why are you so mean when it comes to money? <laughs> Listen, Granville, just remember that under the British per punitive tax system, a pound in the pocket's worth three at the accountants. <laughs> Secondly, could you become a father without noticing it after three glasses of wine at a party? No, I could not, because I don't let her drink wine at parties. And if you take my... What party? <laughs> no, 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 don't you mind what party. It's just a hypothetical question, isn't it, eh? <laughs> Where have you been? I haven't been anywhere. That you can remember. That I can remember. Oh, I've been waiting for this to happen. I knew it would happen. Oh, I've seen you, my mooning about. And you, you've been miles away, haven't you? Well, that's all very well in the shop. But there are some jobs when it pays to remember what you're doing. such a fool. You know, if anybody had asked me, I would have sworn blind that you were still unsoiled. If anybody had asked me, I would have sworn blind I was still unsoiled. <laughs> if you'd seen the hours I'd spent trying to get soiled and nothing, <laughs> then it happens like this while my back's turned. <laughs> Can't happen when your back's turned. That's an anatomical impossibility. <laughs> anyway, sp spare me the, the, the sordid details. I don't know the details. I must have been born under an unlucky star. Yes, it's quite possible the night your mother spent in Claiborne's haystack. <laughs> Trust me to find that I've been instructed in the pleasures of life when I wasn't even looking. Come, come and hold this door. Come on. And if you'll take my advice, you'll you'll do the right and proper thing. Oh, I will, sir. Deny everything vigorously. <laughs> Putting another bolt on the door. I know where I should be putting a bolt on. <laughs> For the moment, I'm putting it on this door, all right? Well, you've got 22 on there already. I don't want the burglars in here again. Well, I have to open this door every morning. It's practically my first job. By the time I've finished, I'm pooped for the rest of the day. Watch your language, please. <laughs> Just because you think you're the uh, phantom parent. <laughs> I will not have you throwing your weight about here. Hey, I've just had an idea. Uh, tonight, if I set the alarm and wake you up every half hour, how, how loud do you think you could bark? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you can suddenly ruin your life. Mind you, I've been trying for ages. <laughs> the trouble is, being up on all hours, I don't get out enough. It's one I did get out that night at Elsie's party. I must have gone mad. Funny, the only thing I can remember clearly is playing a few hands in this Monopoly school that was raging in the conservatory. I bought property in Soho. I should have been warned. Eat your chips. Oh, don't want them. They're gone cold. Anyway, I've got no appetite. I feel as though I've got this great big hard lump right in here. Well, you've eaten your beef burger, now eat your chips. <laughs> Not beef burger, it's guilt. Ah, unless you think you do feel guilty and all. Young life, wasted because of my ungovernable lust for elderberry wine. I'm not not talking about that. I'm talking about wasting them lovely chips. Look at that one there. That's beautiful. Look here, I am suffering from an emotional crisis, and all you can say is eat your chips. That's the soundest advice you'll ever get for an emotional crisis. Is that? Is all them overprivileged society neurotic women? At this very moment, are lying on psychiatrists. Lying on what? Couches. <laughs> Let me finish my words, please. <laughs> and the best thing for them would be a plate full of chips. Well, it never happens in great literature like that, advice like that, doesn't I mean, you never see Hamlet coming on, wringing his hands and saying to be or not to be in a voice bellowing from the wings, Here, eat your chips! <laughs> oh, dear, good Granville, fetch your cloth. <laughs> well, what, what are you supposed to be doing now? I thought that might change my whole personality. <laughs> they will if you keep walking into them handlebars. Right? 
<laughs> Listen, would you clean this nameplate here? My name's Arkwright, not the Darkwright. Get it on. <laughs> They're all right outside. I can see outside. It's just in here, in the land of the midnight 40-watt bulb. <laughs> well, I believe in saving energy. Yeah. I wish you believed in saving mine. From what I've heard of you lately, you're not all that fervent about it yourself, are you? Eh? <laughs> oh, I watched it all happening. Well, it's more than I did. <laughs> I saw it going off the rails. It all started when we had be 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 be. It's no good. You know I can't understand Morse code. <laughs> Trying to say, baby, baby, BBC Two. That's what I'm trying to say. Gee. Look, there's two ways that a young man can go wrong in this life, Granville. Get crime and a higher education. And I don't know which is worse. At least if you're a criminal, I suppose you can get time off for good behaviour. But with BBC Two... <laughs> well, I've got to change my life. I mean, I can't stay like this forever, can I? I mean, how could you look debonair in a flaming pinny? That's all the way things were going when you put them racing transfers on your cycle clips. <laughs> I noticed when Sean Connery packed it in, all the trouble I had finding that new James Bond. I've never heard my name whispered about. I bet they never said, Hey, why don't we get Granville? No, all I ever get is Granville. Fair, fair, fetch your cloth. <laughs> Listen, listen, just mount your powerful single-seater gleaming black sinister machine, will you? The, the double O eck. <laughs> Get these deliveries off round the town. Take that biological Watsy to Finkel Street. See if we can aid Mrs. Jarvis in her, her hunt for the ultimate detergent. <laughs> about wait until it's dark. Oh, and uh, you better knock very loudly at uh, Mrs. Hemingway's. You know how busy she's liable to be if that decorator's still in. <laughs> oh, if Mrs. Ogden gets a bit polite, you, uh, just watch it. It means she's trying to get out of pain. <laughs> then when you've done that, hurry back here, cos we've uh, got to make this door burglar-proof and all. <laughs> seen a dog? Then that's because it moves like a panther. <laughs> Keep it in the back in here, in a den cunningly constructed out of her baked bean tins. The whole floor is, is strewn with human remains and sent in schoolboy's caps. Whoa, 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 get out, get out. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know what his name is. I've never been able to get there near enough to read his collar. You haven't got a dog. Listen. <laughs> Why aren't you, you at school? Got chicken pox. Oh, get out. Get need waiting on, Mr. Arkwright. It's my pleasure, Gladys Emanuel. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what would you in the me me medical profession recommend for a love bite? Your own teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese fighter pilot. <laughs> Where have you been cycling around Pearl Harbor again? Oh, my chain came off and uh, Mrs. Ogden kindly let me wash my hands. Oh, I hope you got the money, did you? Yes, yes, Well, yes. come on, let's have the money then. I've told you, Granville, get it in the till. You must regard the modern pound note as a little fish out of water. Whereupon common human decency demands that you get it as quickly as you can into this little aquarium here. <laughs> You're going to risk that vicious spring clip. I don't want to look. You just tell me when it's all over. Oh, don't be daft. You only have to uh, jiggle it a bit. <laughs> One of these days, your reactions are going to get slower. 
Now, have you any instructions? Do you want your fingers burying or cremating? <laughs> I want them round your ear all if you don't get something done in this shop. Now, get there, get that bike in. <laughs> Beware the dog. What dog? Eh? You don't need a dog. You only need a sign, you see. It deters and that'll keep the burglars away. Everybody knows that we haven't got a dog. Shh, we have, we have. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> If they want to break in here, that's not going to stop them, well, is it? It'll only make them think twice, oh, yes. Oh, yes, I can just see them standing out there trembling and saying to each other, Hey, Charlie, don't go in there unless you're going to get mauled by that great big ugly sign. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to think of something a bit more convincing, won't we? Medical poetry. <laughs> Coronary in motion. Has he got any vascular history? I don't think he's got any all levels. <laughs> What's he think he's doing? Got no idea. He just said he were going out to borrow something. Not to actually buy anything. Oh no. He wasn't upset enough for that. <laughs> I shall be on guard tonight so you can sleep safe in your bed. Come to think of it, I might be able to arrange it so that we uh, uh, could both sleep safe in your bed. <laughs> See me and my hand's still shaking, but, but, but I think I've got the hang of it now. It knows who's master. You yeah, certainly look like it. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's all in the dead, dead, all the voice, you know. Yeah, it was all in yours. Blind panic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they don't crit their city sizing. <laughs> <laughs> me, you have to risk their life and limb. Hey, where did you get it? Kirk Cooper's kennels, uh, looking after it for someone for the weekend. I feel safer now knowing it's walking about in the shop, you know. <laughs> There'll be no one wandering round the back of my counter now. <laughs> uh, not even me. <laughs> what, what, do, what does it eat? Uh, people, I hope. <laughs> Flaming by burglars. Mrs. Smith, and uh, don't forget to tell all your friends about uh, Arkwright's budget prices uh, during the opening hours, will you? And the ferocious wild dog we've got at the back when we're closed. Thank you very much. Get down, I've told you that. Get down. Go on, <laughs> Ah, now, Mrs. Brocklesby, is it the usual of you? Yes, it always is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> there we are, two pints of extra strong exportable and an ounce of black shag. There we are. <laughs> Now then, anything for Mr. Brocklesby this evening? <laughs> is he all right? Is he all right for knitting patterns? <laughs> all right. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Goodbye. You naughty dog. <laughs> Good in the air, like like. <laughs> Hope you haven't rubbed.
rub my soul music off. <laughs> no, no, that's on the other track. Anyway, in my young day, when a young man had something on his soul, he was expected to scrape it off on the edge of the gutter. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't keep the dog. Because it was eating about like a cubic yard of dog meat every day. <laughs> Have you seen the price of that stuff lately? It's been cheaper to just let the burglars in once a week to help themselves. <laughs> anyway, look, that's my tape recorder and I would like it back. I often feel like playing something in my room. Yes, yeah, what you play in other people's rooms, it worries me. <laughs> it's all right for you, but I'm very young to have such a big responsibility. I'm not even going to consider that remark. Now, just get outside, will you, and find that money I did dropped on the pavement. Oh, look, it's pitch dark. Listen, with inflation the way it is, it won't be worth looking for if we don't find it before the morning, will it? We're going to catch these bur burglars. There. <laughs> I'd like to see anyone go get through that in the dark without getting his conscience pricked. <laughs> but there's only the two of us. I mean, we can't guard it all, can we? There's not only the shop now to look after. There's that entire stretch of pavement out there where you think you might have lost a shilling. There's <laughs> no my might about it. I know when I've lost a shilling, my pulse starts to race, and I have this uh, difficulty in breathing. Hey, Rod, it's my night off. I'm not stopping you, am I? You can go out. I'm going to do 8 to 12, and you're going to do to 12 to 8. You can't be fairer than that, can you? <laughs> <laughs> if you walk in here in the morning and you find someone hanging there? Well, I shall make a th thorough examination of the body to see there's nothing of mine in his pockets. <laughs> All right. I'm coming. She won't have the baby before I get there. I said I'm... Oh. Uh, 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 just, just pass it. <laughs> on a ladder? Uh, you, you haven't seen any money on the pavement, have you, when you've been going to do a No, I haven't. And if you climbed up here to ask me that, you want a tight bandage round your neck. Uh, look, you, you know I said this, you were going to uh, sleep safely in your bed. I was, I was just uh, checking to see you doing it properly. And you woke me up to ask me. Well, that's really using your brains. Look, I'm going to be, be on patrol here all night. You great Tom fool. Oh, my good oh. <laughs> I, I, I just, I just uh, wanted to, to tell you both that uh, uh, if you hear any suspicious noises, it'll only be me breathing a bit heavy. I suppose you think that's a comfort, knowing you're creeping about like wee Willy Winky. <laughs> get off down and let me get this window closed. No, no, I've got well, one alternative plan in mind. Look, what will folk think if they see you with a ladder up here? Uh, that's my alternative plan. If I brought the ladder in hey, here... Oh, get I'd out! Get... Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, dear. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're leaving Granville in that shop if you're really expecting trouble. He's not in this shop. He's gone off out. Well, who's that walking about in there now? <laughs> oh, well, that'll be... Uh, 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 that's Blair, 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 Blair! <laughs> Blair, 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 Blair,
come out. Uh, that, uh, that shilling you lost, it's not behind here either. <laughs> oh, you and all. Listen, I could, I could have shot you, you know, but point blank. And that's a terrible place to be wounded. <laughs> then who'd ride the shot bike, eh? We, we, we were only cuddling a bit. Hey, anyway, look, it's all right. It turns out that our little Eric is Maureen's sister's little Eric. <laughs> she were only looking after him. I got it all wrong. <laughs> so the way I feel at the moment, I don't care if we do get burglars. Oh, very nice. Very nice and cosy, isn't it? Come on outside, both of you. And, and don't forget, you're on guard tonight at 12 till 8. Oh! <laughs> oh! What have you been up there? What, on the, on the ceiling? How many people do we get coming in off the street and sheltering on our ceiling? <laughs> I mean upstairs, in the room above. That's my room above. They might have got peppered with shot. I'd have to move bloody fast, wouldn't I? <laughs> Just fire the gun down here and run upstairs in time to get their shepherd with pot. <laughs> Shot. I know what I mean. Now, come on, I'll do it, both of you. I don't think your uncle likes me. Well, it's nothing personal, Maureen. It's just that he doesn't like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they all think I'm a grasping old man. Especially Nurse Gladys Emanuel. She thinks I'd get grasp hold of anything. <laughs> It's quite obvious she thinks I'm unmoved by art or music. Maybe if I could le learn to play something. Mind you, it's amazing the volume of sound I can produce just by running one finger lightly up and down her left leg. 